up, everybody? It's January 14th, 2024, and beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous Big Bear Lake. Um, we are cruising through town right now. This video is going to be a video of driving up the mountain and down the mountain. There's going to be two separate videos, one of them going down because it's going to be a super long video, like even longer than it would be if I put it all in one video going up and down. So we're going to drive down Highway 38 to avoid all the traffic. Town is packed right now. It's Sunday. <clears throat> it's approximately 2 p.m. I have to go down the mountain right now to start my motorcycle in my storage unit. I've got to do that maybe once a month for about 15 or 15 minutes or so. So that's a huge waste of gas, but I got to do it. And uh, congratulations again to all the winners. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm super stoked for you guys. We're going to be doing a lot more of that stuff too. So don't even worry about it. Um, doing these things feels so good. It feels so good. So I'm really looking forward to more of these. And uh, yeah, congratulations. And it's the winners of the of the the giveaway that we had for the Airbnb, and then well, the the Airbnb also got a hoodie, and then second place got one of the nice hoodies, and third place got fifty bucks. So that's pretty darn awesome. Again, it's so rewarding to give back to you guys. So thank you, thank you for allowing me to do that for you guys. Yeah, so I just want you guys to basically see what it's like on a weekend here, driving all the way from one side of town for the most part to the other end and heading out of town. It's gonna be a beautiful drive once we get to Highway 38. But look at this traffic. This is the only reason why I'm not too upset that we don't have that much snow is because with a lot of snow this traffic is even worse but snow makes me feel good it's super exhilarating for me and something I've learned is that a lot of you feel the same way about it so that's pretty darn cool but yeah we're gonna be taking this Big Bear Boulevard, AKA Highway 18. Look at, so all these people park right here, right in front of signs that say no parking anytime. Every year, every year. And then cops come by and they ticket everybody. So don't, don't park there. No parking anytime. The signs are about every 50 to 75 yards. No parking anytime. Here's one even closer. No parking anytime, no parking anytime. But people don't listen and they get ticketed. Our police force up here, guys, will not mess around, so I don't want any of you to get tickets. I know it, it looks fun because there's, there's a slope right there with some snow on it, take the kids sledding, but <clears throat> go, to my <clears throat> go to my playlist or go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com and there's the list there of a few free sledding locations that you can take your family. I don't want you to get a ticket. And then look at this paid paid sledding place guys are you kidding me the line is wrapping around the block over there it's such a joke it's a lot of fun though but it's such a joke how's anyone supposed to really enjoy themselves when you'll probably get like one run in for 45 or 50 bucks it's like going to Disneyland you guys the lines are insane But yeah, I'm not looking forward to this drive, I gotta tell you. But I am looking forward to seeing the beauty on the way down and showing you guys what's going on. Because I know a lot of people are still nervous about what the roads look like and there's not much snow in the forecast. Maybe a week, in about a week or six days or something like that, there's a little bit of snow. But again, it's gonna be just like we've been getting like less than an inch so nothing to write home about
stop on the way out of town. Temperature right now says 50 degrees. Definitely no bueno for the snow. The snow does not like these warm temperatures. I can hear the snow screaming right now. It's just straight up torture for the snow. So I have to be down to the storage unit. They close at five and it's 1.53. So I'll probably be there close to four o'clock. And as I said, we'll be recording <coughs> coming up Highway 330 and Highway 18 all the way back in through the village. At the end of the village on that drive, the video will be complete. Tuesday we are going to be doing a skiing video because my buddy got me a companion pass he's an employee at the mountain and as of this year this is the first year that the mountain is allowing every employee or I think most employees to give away a season pass to anyone they want and he chose me so I'm excited about that I don't want to like have the pass and never go because that's just I don't know that's that's not right I don't want him to think that I'm not super thankful about it because I am it's just with all the work that I have to do and just the lack of snow up there it's just tough but again I, I've, I've been hearing from a lot of people that especially in the morning the conditions are not bad at all like they're they're awesome so we're gonna go up Tuesday my wife might go with me guys we are on our way down I mean not on our way down yet yeah, technically but we're on our way out I should say we are in Big Bear City so when I moved up here you guys I always could just thought of this area as Big Bear. Like as a kid when we were coming up to go skiing and coming up to visit our house in Lake Arrowhead <clears throat> and then drive over here in the morning to go skiing, I always thought it was just Big Bear. Like if you send mail here, it's Big Bear, California, but no, there's, there's a few, few different towns up here. There's Big Bear Lake and there's Big Bear City. And if you turn right at this stoplight, there's Sugarloaf. And there's fawn skin. And I believe there's even a post office in Moonridge. <laughs> Pretty crazy stuff. I'm under the assumption that most people probably think that this whole town is just called Big Bear. I mean, as I said, as far as I was concerned, it, that's, that's true. we're heading out this way is because there's a lot of traffic it looked like there was a lot of traffic leaving town I heard it might be a three-day weekend right now but um, and this video is going to be posting tomorrow on on Monday anyway you guys take the little bit 
longer, my favorite route down. We'll be driving into a little more snow, you guys, and the snow views are gonna be really pretty. So, hope you enjoy it. We're almost out of town. We're on Highway 38 now. seen you in a while man because I've been on a diet for almost three months now I stopped eating burgers and fries so that's why you haven't seen me at all right there. That's called Baldwin Lane. That's the route I always tell you guys to take when we have icy snowy conditions because taking maple is extremely dangerous. When, when there's ice and snow. It becomes an ice skating rink on maple. It's so steep. Baldwin is still steep as well but not as steep as, as maple. If you turn left, you, you go into a huge neighborhood called Irwin Lake. And if you turn right, I believe that's part of Irwin also on Mitchell Lane. That's State Lane to the left. Big neighborhood. And there's only one neighborhood remaining called Lake Williams. And that is when we start heading out of, out of town here. Lake Williams is so far from everything, you guys, but it's got to be the most peaceful town up here. Big 
biggest neighborhood, but it's good size. And as I said, it's so far away from everything. But if you like that absolute just solitude and tranquility, then if you can find a place there, and be away from everything and everyone, it's a, it's a great spot. This part of town doesn't typically get as much snow, even with its elevation because of where it's located on the mountain range. But since it is really close to the mountain right here, it, it can get hammered pretty good. But usually this side of town doesn't get nearly as much snow. Of course, the higher in elevation we climb, you will see more snow. side of the roads are starting to get a little more snow the higher we go. <laughs> and right around this right little curve <clears throat> is this long straightaway where if I had the power I could probably pass these folks. But I think we'll just chill. They're not doing too shabby. This highway coming in and out of town, this will take you to the highest elevation of any of the main highways in the National Forest. We will end up getting up to Onyx Summit in a, a couple miles at the most up here, and it's 8,443 feet at the summit. And usually there's a nice little sledding area for y'all, for the kids that just can't wait, and the parents that just can't wait to make their kids happy. <laughs> guys found a spot to sleddy sled. That's cool. Cool little innovative thinking on their part.
Temperature's already dropped down to 47 degrees as we climb. We might get lucky and hit 46 up here at the summit. Okay, this is a good place to go sledding usually. We're at the summit right here. There's a big parking lot on the left and some hills on the left. You should see, yep, there's a bunch of cars. I don't see much snow though. I'm telling you guys, usually that's a pretty darn good spot to go. This drive is my favorite drive on the whole mountain range, you guys. Because you're driving parallel to the mountain for the most part. So it feels like you're in a much bigger mountain range. And as far as the eye can see, it's just mountains. When you come up the other route, or the few other ways into town, you can tell how tiny of a mountain range it is because at some points you can see the ground in the desert and the ground on the beach side of the mountains. But this makes you really feel like you're driving through a beautiful mountain range. And this is what I send my mom on all the time, you guys. This is like, uh, because it's, it, it, it is longer, but for me, I consider it to be a little bit safer because there's not as many spots to fall off the edge. sledding it's crazy that's cool what a great idea there's a ton of them so what what happens every year you guys is people leave their broken sleds here people leave their broken sleds all over our mountains here and when you're driving it like as all the snow starts to melt at the end of the season it, it just looks like skittles all throughout the mountain it's really sad. So, you know, this is one of the last somewhat kept places in all of Southern California. You know, there's there's not garbage everywhere, and we really want to keep it that way. Some more people over here. It's great. Telling you, I love seeing people and their kids having fun on sleds like this. It just brings back so many good memories. I know what those kids are feeling right now. I know what is going through their heart and soul right now. And it's just, it's just the best, the best incredible feeling ever. But remember, I know I'm not speaking to any of you watching, but please, like, don't let other people leave their trash up here. Again, this is the last bastion of like beauty for the most part in Southern California. And I'm from Newport Beach. I know what beauty is. Like it's, it's, it's a beautiful place. But uh, that place is even getting a, a little bit trashed. Thankfully, the city cares a lot down there. There's a few towns that still actually care and want to work hard for their taxpayers. And this town is typically one of them, our town up here. But yeah, that is so cool to see all those people sledding. That is just so amazing. Didn't expect to see so many. And if, if anyone's still watching, can you tell me what this three-day weekend is right now? 
because I have no idea. My wife told me she, she thinks it's a three-day weekend. back up to 50 degrees here's a big wash area when we get thunderstorms guys that wash gets raging I've heard of numerous people losing their lives out there as a matter of fact a really sad story one of my first years living up here some guy took took a girl on a first date over here somewhere and uh, they were walking in that wash a little bit on the left hand side here and uh, a thunderstorm hit and the, and the raging waters came so fast she was able to get out of there and he didn't make it that just scared the living daylights out of me I mean on a first date trying to impress your girl and then that happens that's just it's so sad Sorry for bringing the video down a little bit, guys. <laughs> I apologize about that. You know what's great about driving down these mountains is if you know what you're doing and there's not much traffic, you never have to touch your brake at all. At all. I can't tell you how often driving up and down this time of year you smell people's brakes just yawn because they're holding the brake the whole time you will destroy your brakes on these mountain roads if you're not careful oh those mountains are so beautiful and you can see all the old fire damage because of all those toothpicks of trees up there remember guys we live in an incredibly heavy duty fire hazard area and due to our fire, our firemen and and just fire crews and everything up in, in the Big Bear area, I don't think a fire has hit the main part of town in almost a century. Fires have come roaring up the side of town, like through Snow Summit and Bear Mountain and stuff like that. But I don't think we've had anything in a hundred years that actually came into town. And these, these folks, they deserve all the credit in the world because they have put themselves on the line to save our beautiful little town. it's like our three conditions but they they let me through but warning me like dude you just gotta be just know that if something happens there's no one gonna be able to come rescue you and I'm like alright great let's do it let's go let's go side it gets way too blurry I'm 
actually driving down the mountain right now because I have to go start my Harley Davidson at the storage unit that I have it in. Big Bear and all that is on is over these mountains right there. That's where you're going to be finding Big Bear Valley. to start driving through one of my favorite parts of this whole area this is just like campground central you guys and there's an amphitheater up here as well on the right hand side but yeah this is just a big flat beautiful area up here on the right and on the left and there's campgrounds everywhere see it it's back in there a little bit but it's there it's nothing too crazy but it is an amphitheater So this video is going to end once we exit the San Bernardino National Forest. Terrific time right now. There's another spot a lot of people like to park to find some sledding.
that's where I stayed in sixth grade, that, that Boy Scout area. It was for in an astronomy thing for school, and a lot of sixth grade classes come up to these mountains for that. are working like a charm like a charm like a charm side there. pretty significant elevation. We're still probably above 6,000 feet here. As I said, it's, it's just, it's a longer journey because you're running parallel to these gorgeous mountains. And when there's a ton of snow over here, this looks like a different mountain range because it's completely covered in white. like there's a fire down there. No way. There is a fire down there. What is going on there? Definitely wasn't fog. That was definitely smoke. So maybe we'll be able to get a good look at it and see what the heck's going on. Thankfully, there's not really any residential there. But I feel bad for the animals. Let's see if we can see it. Maybe that's just smog. Or because it's from down the mountain, smug. <laughs>
enjoying a nice view. A beautiful view. Again, when these mountains have a, a ton of snow, that view is that much better. Because as far as the eye can see, it's just snow everywhere. There's a video from about 12 years ago before I moved up here of someone driving down Highway 38 and they parked it to take a look over the edge here. And they were saying, well, there's Denali and, uh, you know, AKA Mount McKinley. And uh, it, it looked like it. I, I mean, there was so much snow on it. I think this, were, or maybe it was even further back. I moved here in 2015. That was 2010. So there's a very awesome, awesome video for you guys to see. I think the most snow, even more than last year. That whole area was just, everything was completely white. The snow was so deep, you couldn't see any trees. So it just looked like you were way above the tree line. And it was just awesome. Just awesome video. the San Gabriels and the San Bernardinos were were even more connected like all the peaks were there the, the Cajon Pass was never there for many years Okay, when you come into these little towns, you guys, you want to make sure you're always driving the speed limit. Because don't forget, it's, these little towns make a lot of their annual nut ticketing people. So you want to be extremely careful. The speed limit through here is, I believe, 35 miles per hour. I believe. And here's a restaurant. On some of my motorcycle rides, my buddies and myself stop here to eat. called the Oaks, folks. That's hilarious, bro. That makes me happy. Well, I hope you and your brother have a good lunch, man. And as I said, if you're willing to help me out, just pass that information along to him. I really appreciate it. know once we get through Angeles Oaks that we're not that far away from getting down to the bottom. And I always love seeing where the snow line ends. 
So we're getting really close, so just keep your eyes peeled for when there's no more snow. I don't know why, I've always loved this, even as a little tiny kid. Driving down the mountain and up the mountain, driving up to start seeing where the little bits of snow begins and then it gets more and more and more the higher you go. It's just so cool. And obviously this is the opposite. It's so smoggy down there, wow. snow there's a little bit right there there's a little bit and here's still a little bit on the sides here again I, I just love this we're at 5,000 feet elevation now as you can see from the sign Snow is getting less and less and less. It just looks nasty down there, doesn't it? Kind of smells like a little bit of a fire. tell but that big mountain straight ahead there's so much snow up there it's so pretty because of the glare it's kind of hard to tell
lot of the snow now. Completely gone. Nothing left. As we are descending rapidly. Put your car in a lower gear. Now straight ahead, that looks like a completely different mountain range. That's Forest Falls over there. It's such a beautiful area. You're surrounded by jagged peaks on either side. You want to turn left here to go to Forest Falls. They do have hotels and Airbnbs and stuff there. I'm telling you guys, if you guys want a spectacular experience up here, go stay there. Go stay there. It's, it's wonderful. Another huge wash to the left. That's all part of the same wash. Look at how wide it is. Look at how big that thing is. And you can see where all the fires were. Fires came roaring through here and burned everything. And as I said, guys, that's, it's a very regular thing up here. It's a very regular thing. And the main reason why f f fires are more prevalent in these wilderness areas is because people are moving more into these wilderness areas. This means more vehicles, more chance of sparks, people flicking cigarettes out the window, fires from accidents, people accidentally starting fires. But yeah, <clears throat> over the years, that's why there's more fires further out in the boonies because more people are moving there. We do get a lot of uh, fires that start from lightning strikes also. up to all the Fonza Nunes driving down the mountain. <laughs> Caddyshack 1 is way better than Caddyshack 2, but Caddyshack 2 had its moments. And Mr. Hartunian would refer to people as Fonza Nunes. They're people who fart in the bathtub and bite at the bubbles. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> I haven't seen that that movie in maybe 20 years, but I'll never forget that. There's Thurman Flat picnic area on the left hand side. That's a pretty neat, neat little area you guys. They usually have a little stream that that runs most of the year, if not all year. I've been there in the height of summer and it's been flowing. But yeah guys, we're almost all the way down. We are almost there. It's been real. It's been fun having you guys with me as always. Again, I'm going to be recording coming back up, but we're going to be going up a different route so you guys can see both routes, both of the main routes on the front. And we're not going to have nearly as much glare coming up, so that's going to be nice. It's going to be a beautiful time of the evening to drive up. 
I just hope it doesn't get dark before we get to the top, but that's going to be a real possibility. Sunday drive. That's where the wash lets out over here on the right hand side now. I mean it's it's a huge area. I've seen that whole entire thing completely raging. Just from a couple of thunderstorms too. There's a really beautiful town up here. So at this first chance that we have to turn left, it's called Bryant Street, like Kobe Bryant. And you'll head into a town called Yukaipa. It's probably the, the nicest town in this, this whole area, in the whole IE actually. And then parts of Redlands are really, really beautiful also, parts. I was lucky enough to live in Redlands for about a year and a half get to experience the IE. All right, guys, we're leaving the San Bernardino National Forest right now. So that's going to be it with our beautiful video. Thank you guys for everything. Thank you for, uh, for being here with me. Please do me a favor and hit the like and subscribe buttons. Help me out, please. I'd appreciate it. And uh, yeah, don't forget to go to BigBearWeatherAndMore.com for your merchandise. We just launched some, some new stuff about a week ago. And if you want to get your skis and snowboards waxed for free and get a great price on rentals, go to Get Boards on Big Bear Boulevard or getboards.com and get your lift tickets there as well. Something I didn't realize when I went in there the other day, they offer rental clothing, you guys, rental ski and snowboard clothing. And it's not nasty like it sounds, like uh, everything's totally cleaned, it's super high-end stuff. And it's like 25 or 30 bucks, guys. So you don't have to spend like four or 500 bucks on, on your ski gear. You can rent it at Get Boards. So go over to Get Boards. Don't forget to mention that I sent you. And as I said, they will wax your skis and snowboards for free. And uh, yeah, they will take care of you. Thank you guys again. And I will chat with you guys soon. Peace out on January 14, 2024. We're on Highway 38 just left San Bernardino National Forest.